And for more, we have Mark Mobius, Executive Chairman of Templeton Emerging Markets Group, to take us through his thoughts about what might lie ahead in 2015. Thank you very much for coming in as uh, our big guest on our debut show. So Thank take you. us through your thoughts on what might lie ahead. So um, first of all, stock prices falling, bond yields falling. Um, what does that spell to you? Well, if you look at the uh, totality of all the emerging markets around the world, Latin America, Africa, Eastern Europe, Asia, um, it's quite amazing how Asia is really the star. Because you have the, the two behemoths, China and India, doing very, very well. And that's impacting the whole region. In addition, individual countries are doing very well uh, with growth. And stock market is uh, doing quite well. As you know, for uh, last year, you had a big increase in the indices of most of the markets. few exceptions uh, that came down, but most of them were up. So I think there's going to be more of the same uh, mm. for Asia. Not so sure about Eastern Europe because of the threats coming from Ukraine and Russia and all the problems there. But right now, the debate that's really gl gripping uh, financial markets worldwide is that the U.S. growth levels are outperforming the rest. And yes. as the rates go higher eventually, whether it's mid-year or sometime earlier or later, it's going to import tightening to a lot of the EMs in Asia. Well, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how this pans out because, yes, it is true that rates may go up, but probably very gradually. If you read the Fed statements, mm. you'll find that they're being very, very cautious. So it won't be a shock. Now, what you have to look at is what's going to happen to the junk bond market in America mm. because maybe 20, 30 percent of that market is in the shale mm. space. And the shale oil companies are in trouble. If these bonds start to go bust, then the whole emerging market bond space will be impacted. See what I mean? Which ones worry you the most in Asia? Uh, well, on an individual country basis, probably uh, Indonesia would be mm. one area we have to be cautious. Um, because you have to look at the combination of what the yields are, what they've been paying, and also what the currency is going to do. So if you see the Indonesian rupiah getting weaker and weaker, that will have an impact on their ability to get dollars to pay back their debts.